you think of the word breathtaking, the location of our next story comes to mind. Iceland, the land of fire and ice. But the ice there is melting faster than ever. It's a massive undertaking, live on GMA, taking us deep inside a glacier, where you can see climate change happening up close. ABC's Amy Robach has the story. Oh my gosh! We brought you fire. We're just getting inside that crater. The first ever live drone camera over an active volcano. Now we're bringing you ice. It's intimidating standing down here looking up. The immense forbidding ice sheets of Iceland. Home to a hidden world of crystal clear ice caves, glistening glaciers, and dangerous crevasses constantly changing. This smug mug documentary capturing the stunning beauty and treachery of the terrain. We are standing in the middle of the melting Vakna glacier and scattered all throughout this glacier are massive vertical sinkholes that are treacherous. They go hundreds, even thousands of feet into the earth where ice is melting faster and faster as water levels in the Atlantic rise even more. Throughout geologic time, and certainly for the last two million years, we've gone through ice ages and warm periods, and glaciers come and go over time. What we're seeing right now, though, is a real rapid increase in the rate of thinning and melting that we're seeing, and that's related to human-induced climate change. So cold. Gearing up for this treacherous journey has been a multi-day expedition. Just call these guys glacial lifesavers. Known as ISAR, the Icelandic Association for Search and Rescue, they are an elite unit comprised of volunteers, <laughs> experienced ice climbers, and true masters of this forbidding terrain, they train on ice scapes like this, then descend into the depths of the coldest climates, braving perilous weather conditions to reach people trapped in the most intimidating of landscapes. Guides on the ice, they've counseled Hollywood too, keeping crews safe on blockbusters from Star Wars to Interstellar and Game of Thrones. We join them right in the heart of this icy wonderland. The plan is for me to walk up that wall of ice. So I'm, this is perfectly safe. Yeah. He hesitated. Ready to lock and load, it's my turn to attack the slippery slope. Okay. Pulling myself up by my own weight, picks on my hands and my feet, the ice giving way beneath me. Getting a small taste of how difficult, dangerous, and exhilarating it all is. And finally, I got up! <laughs> then by car and foot, our team trekking nearly a mile through water, rocks, and ice, all in Arctic temperatures. The landscape, dazzling, dangerous, and disappearing fast. Losing an average of 11 billion tons of ice per year, this satellite picture taken in 1986, and this one, 28 years later, Iceland is melting and that water has to go somewhere. When you're talking about changing sea level, you're talking about impacting the tremendous population around the world. Including Miami's coastline, those waters already climbing an inch a year. And take a look at this. If sea levels keep rising, in two centuries, some scientists warn that city could be completely underwater. Charleston, too, even New York. And these other low-lying areas around the globe, entire ways of life now threatened. So we're plunging far below the surface of the ice in a never-before-attempted live event. Hey, guys, go for it. Go ahead and start ice climbing. Going deep into this glacier, passing bands of darker ice, like the rings in a tree, showing ash and debris from volcanic eruptions from ages past. Vakna, a glacial sinkhole. A massive drain pipe for melting ice that can be thousands of feet deep. And all this melting water eventually ending up in the ocean. This is really remarkable, watching them scale this massive ice wall. It takes tremendous skill, tremendous expert, but it's all to get to the bottom. What do you expect they'll see when they get down there, and what we'll all see? This is one of the most interesting and least known parts of glacier research, which is how does water from the surface get to the base and help lubricate the base to make the glacier flow faster? It's a long, treacherous way down, but finally... Guys, I want to check in with you. This is Amy again. You made it to the bottom? That's right. Tell me what you're seeing. Describe what you're looking at. So we got that Everything it's... Everything is awesome. <laughs> 
he went ahead with a... Uh, surrounded a... by crystal clear black and blue eyes. And I can tell you one thing. I have a challenging climb in front of me. But some scientists say not nearly as challenging as the problem we face, slowing the melting of this vanishing perilous hidden world. For Nightline, Amy Robach in Iceland.